We're celebrating life. My birthday is next week. Also, this is giving I'm hella extra, especially for this hair. I feel like this this is the one. Guys, look who's here, Miss Adana. Okay. <laughs> beautiful people welcome back to vloggy vlog vlog um this morning oh my god I feel so freaking productive today okay i got up at 7 30 a.m girl that's shocking for me okay i know that's the regular time for everybody else but that's that's shocking for me so we got up at 7 30 i went to phototherapy i came back i had breakfast then I chilled a little bit, went to the gym, okay, took all my vitamins, did all of that before 12 o'clock, 12 p.m. Proud of myself. I feel so rejuvenated. So today we are going to be home bodies. I have a bunch of things to do because I just came back from um, vacation in the Bahamas. So if you haven't seen that vlog, check it out. Definitely going to be before this vlog. And um, my hair. So I did a hair video on this hair, loved it, but my only problem with this hair is because it's more of a silky texture and I have 4B, 4C type hair and then I went to a tropical island, we went to the pool, we were sweating because we were doing hot yoga with the flamingos, like I was doing a lot and I was sweating like crazy through my scalp and then we went to the water park, the Baja, Baja Bay water park. <laughs> We went to the Baja Bay water park in the Bahamas, Nassau, and we went on a bunch of water rides. So all the splashing and ting, my hair reverted so quickly. So 
I do have another video similar to this style that I did with a kinky texture passion twist type hair and I would recommend that as well but if you are not doing a very tropical vacation are you just gonna be using it just as a protective style recommend it to use a free trust if you're not gonna do anything water related because you don't want your hair to revert in twists like it's a freaking nightmare for your hair to revert into it so that's the only con that the hair was a little bit too silky for my hair texture so the next time i do this style i'm gonna mix it with a kinkier texture so that it blends more effortlessly i'm gonna take this out today because i'm backed up with a lot of work to do i have a lot of hair content sponsored hair content i'm supposed to do and also we got a bunch of orders to fulfill today so i'm gonna take you guys well not take you because we're home bodies right i'm gonna show you guys me just fulfilling a couple of orders from my website it's a one woman show okay because sometimes i think people forget that it's just a little small business that i'm doing just selling y'all some earrings some rings and some jewelry like this ain't amazon shipping so i know a lot of people expect their orders to be out the next day like when it's a high volume and depending on the day of the week this ain't amazon so i beg for a little bit of grace because i try to ship them as quickly as i can i don't let like a week pass without fulfilling the orders but again this ain't amazon okay take some time to process these orders and get them together and um see what the day brings i'm not gonna eat anything after the gym because i did eat before the gym yesterday i tried to do a fruit diet that i saw on tiktok that helps with bloating because today i was super bloated because i tried the fruit diet yesterday i did it for seven hours and i was starving it's all about the willpower and the mind i don't think i was mentally ready for it so after like five o'clock i'm like yeah i'm starving and i went ahead and had a turkey sandwich but i'm gonna eat more fruits that's my focus to implement more fruits in my daily diet because of how important fruits are i realized i was super bloated today even in the gym i'm like yeah we need to make some changes i had a croissant sandwich no we can't keep doing all of that especially coming back from vacation and all the alcohol that i drank we need a detox and a cleanse <laughs> I 
I ran out of tape. And we gotta get some tape. So we gotta put pause on packing because we need some tape. And I thought this was a full tape. This was so deceiving because I thought like I had way more. Oh my god. I bought that tape like maybe like a couple weeks ago. Damn. Tape don't last. They just don't last. I need more tape. I'm gonna see if I have any backup tape or am I gonna have to go buy some freaking tape, yo? Oh no. Yeah, I'm, I'm really out of tape, y'all. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna just, for now, I'm just gonna pack the smaller orders and then leave the bigger orders that need tape until later. Because I'm already in the zone. So we need to just finish up as much as we can. Oh, oh shit. My leg. Alright, so I package all the packages. And I'm going to wait till later to get the um, the tape. Because I'm going to drop them off tonight anyway. It's not going to be right now. So it doesn't make sense to leave just to get the tape. To tape them. Then take them to the, the post office. So I'm going to just leave that for later but right now i have some videos to do voiceovers for so i'm gonna eat my little fruits because <laughs> i'm not really doing the fruit fast since i'm still gonna eat like you know regular solid food i'm just gonna be in a calorie deficit which i should have been for the last couple of months but i've been on and off so i'm gonna make sure that i'm in a deficit today so um I'm just gonna clean up my little area, eat some fruit, and I'm gonna do the voiceover. Hey Google, play the music. Sure, playing Spotify. Ooh, not Drake song. <laughs> hey Google, change the song. Y'all know Trey songs is a little weird one now. That's right though. How can you get it up? Come here, rude boy, boy, is your big enough? It has been a couple of days since I like picked up my camera because I think I was packaging some packages to be shipped and then I ran out of um was it tape like this has been days ago I ran out of tape but that night I got some tape I shipped out the packages and all that good stuff I'm gonna package some more stuff tomorrow but today a very exciting day I finally built my walk-in closet if y'all been following me for a while you know i had a walk-in closet at my previous um house and we've been here almost a year and i've been taking my time with a lot of the decor stuff and all that stuff like honestly when you move into a house like take your time like that's what i'm doing i'm taking my time i'm trying to get more personal with each room and so i'm like over having all my clothes and my shoes in boxes for the last eight months eight nine ten months ridiculous so finally got it done um i hired someone from task rabbit to put it up because simba had work and you know he's gonna come home tired and ish and i want to stress the man out you know what i'm saying so i let him last time i made him bring up the parts and he found all the screws and all the stuff and put them together and then I got someone from Task Rabbit to come and set it up. So we're gonna go look at it. And I have to clean off um, the shelves because they've been in the basement and the garage for months. For months and months. So it's dusty and dirty and not so great. So let's see how we got it set up. It's a little bit different than how I had it at my old spot. But um, moved some stuff around, got it together made it work because the table that i have i have this big table that i had before but it's too big for the space because this room is a little bit smaller 
So I'm just using this table that I use for um, when I'm recording hair videos. This is the table that I use. So we're going to just use it for our vanity table for now. I don't think I'm going to buy a new one anytime soon because why? It goes with the decor, right? I'm breathing so hard. I'm breathing so freaking hard because I have to climb the steps. Like, let me catch my breath. Let me catch my breath. I burnt over 300 calories today. That may be beyond my abilities at the moment. Girl, I wasn't talking. Yet. I was just looking. I burned over 300 calories today just going up and down the steps trying to get shit together. So... Over this side, I haven't put in the shelves yet because I want to clean it. It's so white in here. Oh my god. So I'm going to put shelves here. This is going to be the shoe shelf. And then of course, we got the shelf that is enclosed in a glass situation. This is going to be where I put all my um, stuff, like my, um, my designer bags and stuff that I don't want to get dust on it. I want to preserve... You know the material and all of that so we're gonna enclose them here anything that needs to be away from dust i'm gonna probably put it here and then we got this mirror now this is not the mirror that i had in my last walk-in closet because um it's too big <laughs> the room that i had before was way bigger I underestimated the size of this room so we're substituting i have a bunch of stuff so i didn't have to buy anything new so this mirror i had um it was like a sitting room in my old spot. So I'm like, okay, it's white. It goes with everything. And of course, the vanity. I got this extra chair from Wayfair because um, if y'all ever shop on Wayfair, there's always one product in your package that is just messed up. So I got an extra chair and then I put it together. I'm like, okay, it could work here. And then of course, we have the system, the closet system right here that we had built. So this is what I had the Task Rabbit person do. He did such a botched job with a lot of the things. Like this was wasn't the guy that I had the last time. The guy that I had the last time was super expensive, but he did a hell of a good job. But I'm like, sir, I'm not five, almost five hundred dollars to do this. Is <laughs> yeah, no, it doesn't. It's not gonna work. So we went with the cheaper guy, and the cheaper guy did some not so great things, but it's not that noticeable. So. It's okay. I guess we'll live. So I'm going to put these shelves up. I'm going to clean up. And then here I had this extra shelf. And it's where I put my like sneakers and stuff. It was like a sneakers um, shelf thingamajig. So I'm going to keep it. But I don't think I'm going to put sneakers on it. Because when I record, when I do my try on hauls and when I get ready in here. Uh, I don't want too much confusion behind me since this is the direction I'll be recording. So I think I'm going to put like maybe a couple of perfumes on there. Make it a perfume um, secondary stand. Put like, I don't know, some cutesy stuff. It might be a decorative shelf. And then I'm going to put like a plant here, like a vase with a plant. Or not like something green, but maybe like a pampas grass or some fake plant or something that I don't have to maintain and this of course this room comes with a closet so i'm gonna put like my hoodies and like little t-shirts and stuff inside here like my larger coats especially in the in the winter time like i have some huge ass coats so we're just gonna put them in here and then i don't know get some boxes make it a little storage area inside but yeah that is what we're working with so i'm not usually a fan of carpeted floors in the closet area because it's so freaking annoying especially when you're putting on shoes and stuff but this could work i just have to make sure that i every time i get home i gotta clean the bottom of my shoe to bring into this room because you know what all that germs and dirt and stuff so we gotta do that but that's it so i'm gonna clean up this room and I doubt I'm going to finish organizing it tonight. So, yeah, that might be a separate video. Like, we might do a closet tour once I'm done in a separate video all by itself. So, let's get to cleaning. Oh, what you do? You
pretty much done with this room um i have some more shelves that i'm gonna have to find i'm missing a couple of shelves for my shoe stand so i'm gonna see if i could find that i'm supposed to have at least two more but they are pretty much done so i'm going to try to dig up my basement trying to find all my clothes and my shoes they're literally in boxes let me show you all a quick tour before i start putting some stuff in so we got a mini shelf here we got the closet system here um we're gonna put color coordinate i usually put black and white on one side and then colored clothing on the other then we got our makeshift vanity which is looking hella freaking cute i love this vanity i got it from amazon so i'm gonna put it in my amazon storefront if it's still available it has bluetooth the led light so you can change the different settings on um and then the volume for the bluetooth so i have my phone connected it has a phone charger port plug into the wall and yeah and then we got um the mirror here we got these two shelves are the same or the um what do you call this yeah shelves the foundation is the same but um i'm gonna make this one my back closet hence the um the glass doors and then this one is gonna be like a shoe stand thingamajig and stuff so that is it but for the the smaller details like um the light fixture i'm gonna change that later on probably like next week i might like try to find like a black and white style chandelier then i'm gonna take my ottoman up here as well to put right in the center so it looks like a legit legit closet situation and yeah so i'm gonna show you the full thing once i'm fully done in a video all by itself like we're gonna go into details every piece that i got of my total my total that i paid for um each of these pieces is way different because i bought this stuff in 2021 and i think last night i put the same amount of stuff in my cart and it's like 200 dollars more than what i paid so i paid for this Thingy magic here with the shelves and all of this and i think i got the mirror in that shipment it cost 500 and something dollars and then it cost me like 60 dollars at the time to set it up at my old house so the price right now completely different but we're going to get into all that detail detail stuff in a dedicated video once i am done so the rest of the night i'm going to spend fixing up so i'll talk to y'all the next day it is a beautiful sunday afternoon um it is a labor day weekend and i am going to a party a jamaican party called um daybreak so the party started like 9 a.m it's like 10 30 right now you know jamaican people that party don't start until 12 <clears throat> but i'm going for 11 11 30 ish so um my hair is already done look at the hair look how long it is yes and the makeup i am very happy with my makeup i got my brows microbladed not microbladed micro shaded and they are starting to peel so i tried to make it look as presentable as possible because i don't want to go to the party and my eyebrows looking like they be scabbing even though they are scabbing so i just put a little bit of um pencil on there to like shading the scabs so they're not that obvious even though i don't want anybody up in my face like that but i don't want it to be too obvious so let me show y'all what I'm wearing. So I'm wearing uh, this dress from Pretty Little Thing. Really simple green dress and the side is cut out. I didn't want to do too much and me and Simba trying to coordinate. We're not matching, but we're coordinating. I was going to wear pink, but what he's wearing is like cream. So I'm like, you know, I'm going to go for um, an earth tone just so that we could match so i'm gonna put this on real quick try to get ready in like five 
two ten minutes so this is the dress let me show y'all in the mirror real quick look how cute and simple it is i love it love 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 it yes okay now i'm gonna add some jewels and then i'm ready to go so for jewelry you already know we're doing beyond empress okay so I'm, i don't know what i want to do i don't know if i want to do these new earrings that i'm gonna put in stock or if i'm gonna wear the ever faithful the signature hoops i think the signature hoops give more breakfasty vibe so i'm gonna do the signature hoop oh this hella cute though Ooh. Hello, this is giving I'm um, hella extra. Okay, let's see. So these are giving I'm um, extra. I'm here. Do you see me? Do you see me? Especially since I'm not wearing um, any chains, I might just have to do this. I might just have to. Ooh, okay. But I don't know if she's giving more nighttime or daytime. But who doesn't want to be extra? You know? So I think I'm going to wear it. Especially for this hair, I feel like this, this is the one. Yes. Yes, ma'am. So, um, I'm going to put on some bangles. I'm doing these yellow gold bangles. These are the Island Empress, I think. I don't even know the name of my jewelry. But these are the chunky bracelets on the website. I think I'm going to do chunkies. On this wrist I have three of them I think I'm gonna go full stack now the thing with these is that sometimes they do get loose because of how you gotta push down to open it so with all that force it shifts the bracelet so what you want to do is just push this part back down and then snap it back and then it's uh, secured again so we're doing all chunkies Full blown chunkies today. Look at that. Stacked. We are stacked. I wonder if I should have mixed the stack. I put, put a small one on this side. I'm going to put a small on here. Uh, don't be stuck oh my god and then for rings I have these new rings come in that I cannot wait for you guys to get okay I'm missing one okay here it is these are big chunkies ooh focus do you see those let me put them on so got this one here you know we gotta keep the wedding ring on well not wedding yet engagement <laughs> and then we gotta go for this nice bowl goal and then we got a little abstract looking situation going on here and that is it for the jewels I wonder if I should have done yellow because this is giving more like not yellow so I think I'm gonna switch a ring I'm gonna switch something. I'm gonna go so. There we go. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Okay, y'all. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. For my fragrance, I'm doing a combo of Good Girl and Alien by Mugler. Okay, let's spray some of the hair. Back of the knees. Okay. 
and it would cut off, layer it with some good girl. And now to finish off the look, we're going with these Zara sandals. Now, I'm not going to wear heels because it's going to be until 2. And if I can barely walk in heels, why am I going to stand up for 3 4 hours in heels? I don't think so. And then I got my Versace uh, mini bag. And this is our completed look. It's giving, it's giving golden goddess. Focus, focus. It is, it is giving golden goddess. I'm not going to put on the shoes in the house right now. But yes, ma'am. Giving, giving, giving. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to carry my lace glue in my bag because I don't know how the sun is going to be here. And I'm not trying to be embarrassed. To Oh, shoot. I forgot my fan. I got to um, find my fan and... Charge it in the car. Let's go. Hey, y'all. It is a Tuesday. And I'm going out. I'm going out. Let me show you how to fit while I put on my shoes. My Uber is here. I'm trying to rush to put my shoes on. The dress is from Pretty Little Thing. And my shoes are from Miss Lola. My toes aren't done, so I'm going for I'm going for pointy heels. I was gonna wear this to the pretty look a thing event, but I don't know. I had to bust it from home. Later. Love you. For me, thank you. Everything's good, yeah. Everything's thank good, you. guys. Look who's here, Miss Adana. They're already overfed. What are you having? It's Some fettuccine Alfredo. Alfredo, oh, okay. It looks delish. The pasta girl, the pasta girl. Look at her, you look so beautiful, girl. You're like glowing in this white right now. <laughs> <laughs> and I am having a seafood pasta with everything under the sea. Okay, <laughs> nothing is missing. Listen, I'm really it right now. Yeah, like nothing I'm is missing. Out of the water. <laughs> I really ordered the ocean right now. Okay. Yeah. Bon appetit, ma'am. <laughs> All, 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 all,
Alright, you want me? You want me? One, two. Alright, y'all see them. That's my side. And this group, right it. Right it. Right it. Alright, y'all see them. Feel, feel, feel this group. Right it. My God. This last week, week and a half, two weeks, have been on the go nonstop. And I don't know what just came over me, but we're celebrating life. My birthday's next week. So a little soca came on and I just went with it. Let me catch my breath. Let me catch my breath real quick. Yeah, I've been for the last month. I have been obsessing with this slushie from 7-Eleven. Mm. The Pink Crush. Mm. Obsessing. And y'all know, I've been on, well, y'all even know, but I have been on a reduced sugar lifestyle change. Um, for the couple, last couple of months, and I see difference in my body with less sugar, right? But there's every once in a while that I'm craving. Like this past month, I've been so bad. So if you see the weight gain coming back, just know it's because of these slushies and rolls ice cream. I've been, I've been obsessing with lychee ice cream for the past four weeks. Okay, so just in case y'all see me put on back a little bit of that weight that we were working off, it's because of this and the ice cream. I don't even like ice cream like that, but that lychee, what do you guys say, lychee or, or lychee? I feel like Jimmy can say lychee. Lychee, 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 tomato, tomato, potato, potato. Yes, craving, so just no, don't be judging me, okay? Mm -hmm. So... This past couple of days have been so busy. I feel like every time I take up the camera to start, like, y'all, this is what we're up to. It's like a day is going like this. It's fast-paced. I'm trying to enjoy the moment while still sharing the moment, and it's a lot. So we went to this party called Daybreak. That was last week's Sunday. Daybreak, hmm, the one in Toronto. I've never been in the one in Jamaica, but I've seen... Like videos and stuff so you know what I'm I won't do a fair assessment because the one in Toronto was okay but I just didn't feel like this is what I was expecting my expectations were high because it's a Jamaican breakfast party right and it didn't meet my expectations you know um, venue wise I thought it would be more lush and green area it was more like a it, it gave um high school gym but on the outside not enough grass and greenery for me for a breakfast type of vibe you know what i'm saying so i don't like i i, I didn't i ugh, i don't know child. i don't want to tell you if i enjoy it or whatever just know if you came back to toronto would i be pressed to go no <laughs> okay i however did Love this aspect of it where I met a lot of um, subscribers that live in Toronto. So that was that was good. Like usually, believe it or not, I get less the least interactions with people subscriber wise in Canada. I would get it more anywhere else where like predominantly black. Like in the states, like if I go to where did I go? I went to Houston this one time. And as soon as I was in the airport, I saw a subscriber. Um, St. Lucia was like amazing because I honestly was not expecting so much subscribers from St. Lucia. Um, did I? Yes, I did meet some people in the Bahamas. Um, Angola, of course. St. Martin, of course. Um, Jamaica, no brainer. So I didn't even think to mention that. But like all of the places that y'all see me gone to, mostly. But Toronto is like, I don't know. Maybe people do, you know, see me, but they're not so um, receptive to come up. But at that party, I met so many people. Y'all were amazing, nice, wonderful people. Love the vibe. So that was a good time. Um, and as I'm saying this about less interactions in Toronto, it's so funny because I don't know if it's recently 
I'm getting more um, Canadian interaction because even um, I went OD before yesterday with my friend Adana. She's also a YouTuber. Y'all already know. If you're into like um, natural hairstyles, protective styles, all of that, the goat at it. She visited Toronto. We went out for dinner. And then there was somebody there like, you look so familiar. Are, is your name Chevy B? And I'm like, yeah, Chevy or whatever. That was a nice interaction. So yeah, um, that was my favorite part of daybreak was meeting um, people. Love that. Um, what else did we do? We went to we went out to dinner, like I said, with Adana. And that was amazing. We were just catching up. We haven't seen each other in like four years. Is it four? Maybe four years. Yeah, it's been a while um since um I've seen her. So she visited the city and we we did a girls' night, had some good food and whatnot. That was really good. And then today Y'all, why did I get ready today, right? Y'all see how this wig is laid. The makeup is makeuping flawless. I went to a pretty little thing event today. The um the launch of the Naomi Campbell design line. Chef's kiss, the pieces, amazing. Why is it that I was leaving out of the house? And I grabbed my camera quickly, quick, quick, because I was filming this hair video because I'm leaving um, for a birthday trip next week. And I'm like, yo, I got to rush, you know, I got to make sure that I do this, my makeup and then get out of the hair. So I get there in my time slot. And girl, why did I grab my camera just to um, turn it on in the Uber and the battery is dead. <laughs> so I didn't even get to film. You know the experience um going for the pretty little thing event i did um have some clips like two little short clips on my phone so i i would insert it in this video so y'all could see it yes But I did get a couple of pieces for free <laughs> because the benefits. So I um I got the dress that she wore on the runway. Mm. The dress is so heavy, good quality material, sis, and it's stretchy. I had to get that. I got that in a size eight. Um, I'm gonna try it on for y'all. I don't know when. I don't feel like doing it right now because I'm tired. I also got um, a two-piece white set. I haven't tried it on yet because it's white and I've been like on the go all day. So I didn't want to put it on my skin like to try it on. So just hopefully it fits. And I also got this yellow dress, this um, rhinestone dress. Mm, I'm taking it on. I'm going to take it and the dress that she wore on the runway on my birthday trip i don't know if it's gonna fit in because i already have my outfits for the trip but i'm gonna bring it just in case like i wanna you know a different vibe and whatnot so that's it and yeah that's that was it and i also got this i also got this cute um illustration so stinking cute of my outfit at the event Oh, so stinky cute. I'm going to frame it and put it in my uh, recording room or maybe um, my in my um, walk-in closet. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But anyway, I'm hungry. I'm feeling like watching some, um, some 90s um, movie, black movie. That's what I'm feeling for. I think I'm going to watch um, Best Man. I'm just feeling nostalgic. Today. Did I say that right? My sister always like be mad at me because I always pronounce that word wrong. Nostalgic. Nostalgia. So I also bought some wings. Some Korean barbecue. That I'm about to warm up and have me some dinner. And I'm gonna eat this fast before Sim Machines comes home because I didn't buy them none. You know what I'm saying? I didn't get any for this. My, my friend is sobbing. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna drink.
Anyways, y'all, I'm about to go eat this food and chillax before I gotta edit some videos. So the next couple of days are gonna be more busy for me because I'm vacation prepping, so I'm gonna get my lashes done tomorrow. And um, yeah, I told y'all like two vlogs ago the break that we were taking from lashes, but girl, the stress that I was under on that Bahamas trip because I had to glue on my lashes and half the time I couldn't be bothered. It was a mess. So we're not doing that again. We're gonna get some lashes. Okay. I don't like the hassle child. I don't like the hassle. So I'm gonna get our lashes done. I'm gonna get my hair done. And the thing with my hair is I'm gonna get a quick weave. Don't worry, it's not gonna be like a straight hair or nothing. It's gonna be like a half up, half down. But with like done quick weave style. And the thing is, um, I got it as a gift from Wow African. And it got sent to my old address, so I gotta go to my old address to pick it up. I don't know when, but I need that hair because my hair is going to be done in like two days. So we're going to get lashes done, hair done. I need to get my nails touched up. And then I'm going to do my toes. And then that's it for the vacation prep. So I'll see y'all uh, when it's time for the lash. So the lashes done, the nails been done, and it is time to go get my hair done. We're going to do a half up, half down curly hair and let's see the vibe so let's go i'm already late so i'm gonna get my ish and get out this door you know it's not me it's ouch i'm not rushing just a little bit but um i'm gonna walk it's about a 10 minute walk so i feel like i'm gonna walk get some fresh air you know enjoy the scenery so if I walk, I'm gonna be like just a little five minutes away. But um, yeah, let's go. I just washed and blow dried my hair, so I think it's only the front she's gonna flat iron. I don't think the back is gonna be flat iron, but we'll see. Let's get it. I will back for flight in probably like two years. Would you? Yeah, I would. I'm not scared to get back on the court. This was a great date idea. You did a good job. Y'all, this vlog has been so freaking hectic. Like, I don't even know where to begin. So, I'm finished prepping for this trip. And, life happened. Okay? Life. Natural disaster type of life so for my birthday i knew the caribbean wasn't an option for a trip because it's september it's hurricane season too much could happen so i'm like okay we're not gonna do the caribbean this year so i want to try something different and y'all morocco marrakesh morocco has been on my mind i booked the trip to morocco and we're supposed to leave today so two nights ago, a earthquake, like a 6.8 huge magnitude earthquake happened in Morocco and the epicenter was a couple of miles away from Marrakesh and the death toll was like over 2,000 people and I was just like, oh my God. Not because, oh, the trip, whatever, whatever, but it's like, oh my gosh what if i was already there Whew. instantly start praying like okay thank god i wasn't there i wasn't even sad or mad about i can't go on my birthday trip like none of that it was just like thank you god for sparing my life because i don't know what could happen because even though we'd be in marrakesh marrakesh but there was a lot of excursions that we were gonna do outside of um the old town so it's like crazy so i got um i got 
airline credits for the flight and I'm still working on the hotel they haven't responded so I think I'm just gonna you know keep calling XP or whatever but so last minute I decided to change the location I'm not gonna share the location just yet because I don't know when I'm gonna put this vlog out but you're gonna see if you follow me on Instagram you will see where I'm gonna go instead and it's gonna be a vibe like it's it's no it's not a downgrade it's a major vibes because this is somewhere i wanted to go since forever we are going to africa okay babes we're going to africa i'm not gonna tell you the country yet but it's somewhere i've been wanting to go so we're finally touched the continent and i feel like once i've touched the continent of africa we, we probably gonna keep coming back okay because we we've done the caribbean we're, we're, we're taking it to africa now so i'm gonna close the vlog here because i have to go um, catch my flight we have to leave in an hour um i'm pretty much almost done packing and a lot of my clothes that i was going to bring to morocco it still works for where we're going in a sense i had to substitute some stuff put them aside for our next trip but I had to get some stuff from like in my basement like stuff from previous vacations that I'm gonna mix and match so some things are gonna look familiar but girl we're just improvising so I'm gonna cut the vlog here and I'll see y'all in my birthday vlog go on big up on yourself bye guys